expelled INC members again staged a protest during a peaceful activity of the Iglesia de Cristo in Southern California last October 31. It coincided with the 60th birthday of the Iglesia de Cristo's executive minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. The family fun day was disrupted by protesters who are siding with the expelled members of the church. Noticeably, it was again timed during an important occasion for the Iglesia de Cristo and its members. And Nani Zapanta reports from California. October 31st. The world celebrates this day as Halloween. And looking at these people, you would never know they once were members of the Church of Christ. Palagay ko sinyempo nila sa Halloween para makapagsuot sila ng ganun na hindi sila masyadong mapupuna. Their rally cry was to disturb the District of Southern California's Family Fun Day, an activity created to counterweight the modern popularity of Halloween, to give true Christian families an opportunity to spend time together in line with the teachings of the Bible, which are found in the faith and doctrine of the Church of Christ. Here today in Southern California, the whole district uh, celebrated uh, the Fun Day, wherein so many of the brethren came together to show their unity the total of 63 participants held signs demanding reform in the Church of Christ. There were various altercations between the participants and reporters. Um, I'm gonna call the police. You're they reported an EBC camera operator to the police for filming, which is, by right of the American Constitution, a freedom on public property. Can you please send a, a police officer over here to have him stop following us? Take pictures of you. Police officers arrived on the scene remained mostly inside the INC compound and advised the participants not to impede the public sidewalk. And even during the time that they were persecuting uh, us here, there was a general cleaning of the chapel. It's our duty para makatulong tayo sa paglilinis ng paligid ng ating bahay sambahan. The Bible teaches through Christians, through English and the Christo members, they don't cause division in the Church of Christ. Overall, there didn't seem to be a concerted effort as many participants were more interested in taking selfies. And as the sun beat down close to the noon hour, the participants retreated around the corner to the shade. This is the third time this same group of protesters have taken to the streets. Two prior occasions in Northern California and this, the latest occasion here in Anaheim. Each previous occasion has coincided with a momentous event inside the Church of Christ. And this date, October 31st, was no less significant as it was the 60th birth anniversary of the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. No matter what they do, no matter what they say against the Church, against the Church administration, the brethren, especially here in Southern California, we are solid in our faith, and we will continue to submit to the Almighty God, to our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the church administration. Choosing to remain masked and mostly silent, they let their signs speak for them. Sa tingin ko po, ay para silang kinukubli nila ang sarili nila sa, aywan ko kung sila nahihiya at Siguro po, sana po mahiya sila sa Panginoon na hindi sa tao. I say you hide behind a mask because you are hiding something. You would not be afraid if you knew you were right. You would have nothing to hide from if you knew you were right. They're not right. All the, the, the steps are, that they're taking are are useless, really. None of that can sway me from the truth. The recent events has no effect on any of the members uh, in our local congregation whatsoever. Always obey, always follow the commandments of the Lord God. We know what is right, we know what is true. We know that the day of salvation is at hand we will stay united with the one that the Lord God placed to lead us. In Anaheim, California, this is Hernani Zapanta for Eagle News.